down here. I'm not going to try to kill him, but I'm going to pick up both of these so I can have a weapon. And he can have a weapon. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm pretty sure I've said shit before, but you know you're going to What about the little uh, four-course sliders? Could you, or uh, could you make them a little bigger? Like, just like maybe it's just like a burger, or a burger. Oh, like a burger. Yeah. Alright. If you know the logic call last night, she say all I ever do just control your life. How you gonna lie like that? How you gonna lie?
Dude, I feel like I'm dying right now. It's just allergies. Hope you get better, though, dude. Do you know what it is that you're sick with? Or, do you, or is it like just a little cold? Airdrop is coming. basically scuffed Fortnite. It's like <clears throat> 13. That's really lucky. What's up? What's up? Good. Good. What are you playing? Scuffed Fortnite. <laughs> we saw it. <laughs> Computer.
still, so I have 102 pimples. That depends. Who's asking? Oh, sure. Sir, I'm Alexander Hamilton. I'm at your service, sir. I have been looking for you. I'm getting nervous. Sir, I heard your name at Princeton. I was seeking an accelerated course of study. When I got sort of out of sorts with a buddy of yours, I may have punched him. It's a blur. Uh, sir, I'll he handles the financials. Right he punched the bursar. Yes, I wanted to do what you did, graduate and two and join the revolution. He looked at me like I was stupid. I'm not stupid. So how'd you do it? How'd you graduate so fast? It was my parents' dying wish before they passed. You're an orphan. Of course, I'm an orphan. God, I wish there was a war, then we could prove that we're worth more than anyone bargained for. Can I buy you a drink? That would be nice. While we're talking, let me offer you some free advice. Talk less. What? Smile more. Don't let them know what you're against or what you're for. You can't be serious. You want to get ahead? Yes. Fools who run their mouths off wind up dead. Uh, yo, 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 what time is it? Showtime! Like I said. Showtime, showtime, yo! I'm John Lawrence in the place to be. A two pints of Sam Adams, but I'm working on three. Yeah. Those red coats don't want it with me, cause I will pack chick a black these cops till I'm free. Hey, we leave mon ami, je m'appelle Lafayette. The lens are locked up, your revolutionary set. I came from afar just to say bonsoir to the king, cause it's why who is the best. C'est moi. Bra, bra, I am breaking these mulligans, up in it, loving it. Yes, I heard your mother say, come again. Yeah. Lock up your daughters and horses Of course it's hard to have intercourse Over four sets of corsets wow. No more sex, pour me another proof, son Let's raise a couple more to, to the, the revolution. revolution Well, if it ain't the prodigy of Princeton College Aaron Burr Give us a verse, drop some knowledge so good luck with that, you're taking a stand You spit, I'ma sit, we'll see where we land oh, The revolution's imminent, what do you stall for? If you stand for nothing, Burr, what'll you fall for? Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, two. Nice. subscribers on YouTube, almost like three and a half million followers on Twitter, 11 million followers on Twitch, and 10 million, 400,000 followers on Instagram, over 500,000 I think, play with Drake, 
one of the greatest nights ever. Travis Scott befriended some people that, dude. But after that, Juju. Up. Huh? What a what a crazy. See, you said it four, right? Yeah. Two minutes. Can we argue that this might be like the greatest year, or like not the greatest year ever? My boy Will Lowry, obviously, like, but like Marshmallow, obviously. Dude, I don't. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. Could we argue? That this was like the quickest, like, boom ever. But let's watch my first ever. My first ever game. <laughs> Look at that sexy beast, dude. <laughs> Look at the impression of the game. Greasy Grove, Loot Lake, Pleasant Park, Blush Factory. God, it's been there since the beginning. Moisty Meyer, Fatal Fields, Retail Row, Lonely Lodge, Wailing Wood. So this was the map. First impression of the game. It's fun. My old streaming room, like, but that area was ten times better than this area. I hate, I hate where I'm streaming right now. I want you guys to know that. Bro, man, look, I was repping. <laughs> no skin life. You guys see how big that sub alert is? That alert was that big for like four months. And no one told me to make it smaller. Still there, dude? I miss that old. I miss that old sound. I miss that. He's watching right now. Yep. Whoop, whoop, whoop.
It's gonna get. How many? Twenty-six. Okay. Either you suck at math, or you're gonna die in two seconds. You suck at math. My PayPal is frozen, and I really want to donate to TFU. So I did the only logical thing I could think of. I went to the bank, I withdrew 15000 to Florida, and yeah, it should just be interesting. All right, guys, the drive is 10 hours and 50 minutes. See you in 11 hours. I'm going to try and get that pink, so let's, let's go ahead and try. This one right here, what is this? So, uh, uh, I did some JSH DIY trying out his DIY videos, and I actually came across this weird stuff that you can use to hold glass things in place. So I decided to put it on my glass slides, and it works really well, so yeah. Okay, so here's the first one, guys. This one. Ah! And here's the first one, guys. This one is a peach buttercream type deal. So this one is scented like peach, and it is a butter slime, and it's really, really nice because it's like really thick and really, really like lotiony. Not lotiony, but soft. Oh, my ears! All right, I dropped my ears, guys. Anyways, so here is the slime. It is like butter, and what am I saying? Anyways, here it is. <laughs> it's really, really swole. Like I really, really like this one. And it's very old, and I don't know what it is with old slimes, but they're really, really nice. Like they ferment or something, and like all the water comes out, and they become really thick and nice. Like, it is so smooth. And it smells really good. <laughs> okay, let's put that back. So that is the first one, guys. Uh, I'm not going to change it because I really, really like this one and I don't want to change it. Okay, next one. Okay, this one is another butter slime. All right, so this one, guys, is a brownie batter one. It's scented like brownie batter. <laughs> This one I also really like. This one is a little bit like thicker and like more dry than the peach cream thingy but <laughs> You wanna watch a movie or something? Um, yeah. Or we could just chill. Let's kill the mood with a fart noise. That will definitely scare off Chad. Then, no bedtime for us. Don't do it, guys. She really likes him. Nailed it. Um, maybe we should watch a movie. Chill. Good call. Let's kick it up a notch. Two-hander. Um, excuse me? Well, that's okay. You're excused. Me? You're the one farting. No, you are. Oh, so now you're lying to my face and accusing me? Maybe you should leave. Maybe I will. You know, farting is one thing. It can even be funny and something we can laugh at eventually, but I'm not okay with lying. <sighs> oh, hey. I can't really sleep because it's so early. How's it going with Chad? It's not. I'm sorry. Do you want to play a board game and order pizza? <laughs> Do I? <laughs> What if she never finds another boyfriend? Blah, blah. I win. You lose, Chad. See ya, sucker. <laughs> and yeah, I really, really like it. Like, it's super soft and super thick. It's not necessarily really like a butter slime. Like, it doesn't really, like, it really doesn't, like, smear that much, you know? It's kind of like brownie dough, though. <laughs> this one, I put a lot of time into it. I put a bunch of cornstarch. It was definitely worth it. <laughs> Okay, so that is it for that one. Also, guys, make sure you watch the whole video so that you guys can comment below what your favorite one is. Uh, I don't know what mine is. I mean, I think mine will be this brown one. I really like it. Okay, next. Uh, okay, this one. This one I have not touched in, like, a oh, decade. 
in like 30 years. <laughs> okay, so this is just like the big jar ones. I don't really touch them because they're big jars and my it would just be really hard. This one kind of just like melted and I kind of just forgot about it. I never fixed it, so it's basically just a bunch of water. Not water. <laughs> it's just a bunch of glue. So I'm just gonna have to go ahead and remake this one, but anyways, so you guys can see it's basically just glue. Alright, let's go ahead and change it. <laughs> okay guys, so let's start fixing this up. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour it into here. Ugh, there you go. Okay, I did it! And all the paint stayed on the bottom. Alright, that's just great. <laughs> Whoa, this feels weird. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. You know what, it can use some sparkles. One second. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I got some holographic sparkles. I got this holographic one from Walmart. I'm gonna put that right there. And then some holographic from Michaels. And that was a lot. Okay, that one is really pretty. Oh no, it's starting to group up. Why is it grouping up? Okay, let's go ahead and activate it now. So sort of activator, and let's start. Okay, here it is, guys. It's a big jiggly green slime. Yes. Okay, this is so nice. I love the texture. Why did the, te the texture of this change, guys? It's so nice. This one, I think, does have a scent, but I don't remember. I don't remember. I think it has a little bit of, like, watermelon scent, but I could have, like, evaporated or, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> but anyways, here it is, guys. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the jar. I'm going to try and get that paint. So let's, let's go ahead and try. Eh. Do it again. There's still some at the bottom. What the heck? Why is it worn out? Okay, guys. Oh, that is so fun to do. Oh, that looks so cool, guys. There's like a hole in it now. Okay, well, I think that's enough with this live here, it is, guys. I fixed it. Yes, it's finally itself again. It was melted for so long, and I. You wanna watch a movie or something? Uh, yeah. Or we could just chill. I had just been kind of like just leaving it there because I wanted to do a video on it, but I never just got to it. But anyways, I finally did it. It's so nice. Okay, go ahead and put it back into the jar. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go ahead and put that back on the cap and it's kind of overflowing now. I'm just going to go ahead and take just a little bit off because it kind of fits and it's probably just going to like deflate. So I'm just going to put like a teensy bit off. Okay, let's put that back. Yes. Oh, it's so sparkly. Okay, now, next. I'm not even closing my eyes. <laughs> this one, guys, is also uh, been neglected. It is very melted. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, this one is also another jiggly slime. I don't think it's scented. But anyways, let's go ahead and mix that. It looks so cool. Look at that. Okay, now let's go ahead and redo that. And uh, we need a new box. So we... Okay, let's go ahead and pour that. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and put some glitter because I like the glitter. And then also I'm going to put the activator and let's see if we can turn it into a beautiful spot. I wonder how much activator this one is going to need because the other one needed a lot of activator. But uh, maybe this one's different. You know what? We're just going to go for it. We're just going to put some fishbowl beads in here. Hopefully it doesn't just completely turn into a big pile of poop. But uh, it probably won't. So let's try it. <laughs> Slushy foam beads. I mean, fishbowl beads, not foam beads, because I feel like it's gonna go together and I feel like it'll stick in there more. So, yeah, put that over there. Okay, we'll put the fishbowl beads there. You know what would be cool? If, if I added some glitter into the fishbowl beads, would that be cool, guys? I feel like it would. Well, the slime's sticky enough, so yeah. <laughs> Oh, that looks so cool with the glitter. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it looks so cool. I like how the slime kind of looks like coral. Okay, so it didn't turn out too bad. It's definitely not really crunchy, if you guys can tell. But it doesn't look too bad. I mean, look at it. It looks like a fishbowl. Okay, well, uh, I think it looks good like this. I feel like if I added more fishbowl beads, it'd probably be more crunchy. I'm going to try and get the paint now, though. Oh, no. It got bigger. And voila. Put that back over there. Okay, next. We're gonna do this one next. And let's see what we're working with. So this one is just an orange slime and it's like really glossy. This one I think does smell like orange though. Okay, here it is. Okay, it just needs a little bit of activating, but anyways, here it is. It's like a glossy slime. And I overactivated, yeah. <laughs> okay guys, it is all nice and activated. I really like this one, so I don't think I'm gonna do anything to it. And it's like really soft and stuff. And it's really bright. 
Okay, what? Like everything they do at this house, they can trust everything at Grandma's house. Okay. Okay, then what? Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. I'm Joanna and I'm sorry about my voice today because I'm just getting over a cold. This is a hugely requested tutorial based on the mysterious slime deactivator that I used in my souffle slime video. So many people requested a DIY version and this experiment turned out a ton of new stuff about slime. First up, this video is a collaboration with Anita Stories who was one of the winners from my 1 million subscriber giveaway. Be sure to check out her video on the best no-glue slime recipes, which I've linked below. And of course, please subscribe to both of our channels for more slime experiments and DIYs. As many people might remember, I found this bottle inside a slime kit and it's simply labeled softener. To my amazement, just a few drops turned a whole batch of overactivated slime super soft again. This is incredibly useful because it means you can play with your slime for much longer and you'll save money from not having to buy new products. If you have a slime shop, then you can rescue old or overactivated slimes without having to throw them out. I picked five of your best suggestions to test out and please note that the screenshots shown are just examples. The credit goes to everyone who left that idea, but unfortunately there's just not enough space to show every comment on the screen. The most popular suggestion was acid, which makes a lot of sense since slime activator is always alkaline. By reversing the pH, it seems likely that you can change the consistency of slime back to where it started. I even bought a packet of test strips so we can narrow down the pH of each ingredient. Another popular theory was glycerin or glycerol, which is a colorless, non-toxic liquid that's often added to food or cosmetics. And the final suggestion is baby oil, which I actually forgot to include in this video. However, I will test it out on Instagram, so please follow my account under my username Macaroon if you want to see how it turns out. The first thing I'm going to do is to make a deliberately overactivated slime. I'm using some white glue, shaving foam, and adding a ton of slime activator. Up, slasher. I also mix in some food coloring so you can see it better on camera. What's up, man? The result is this rubbery slime that rips easily instead of stretching. Now I'm going to split this up into six cups so we can test the different deactivators. First up is glycerin, which can be bought from pharmacies or baking supply shops. Next comes powdered citric acid, which you can also get from pharmacies or health food shops. The third one is liquid citric acid, which I got from the cleaning supply section in the supermarket. This is used to descale kitchen appliances, but according to the ingredients, it actually contains food grade citric acid. Since we're on the topic of acid, the next one is vinegar, which would be much easier to find than the previous ingredients. And the last one is simply lemon juice. Citric acid in German is actually the same word as lemon juice, so I thought this was a very obvious one to try out. As the control experiment, I'm going to test the tiny bit of the deactivator from the original slime kit. First, I decided to test the pH, and I was almost 100% sure that this was some type of acid. However, to my surprise, when squeezing it out of the bottle, I realized it actually had a slightly thick consistency that looks similar to glycerin. And when I added the test strip, it didn't change at all, which means that this actually has a neutral pH. 
This was quite shocking since I really didn't expect a neutral liquid to have such an effect on slime. So even though this looks like glycerin and has a neutral pH, we can only know for sure by testing out the real thing. Ah, uh, hey Ryan. Um, listen, I, I know you love Tomb Blast. Glycerin is a tasteless, non-toxic liquid that's often used in baking or as part of beauty DIYs. It has a pH of 7, which makes it completely neutral. So I'm simply going to add a tiny bit to the slime and stir it around. To my amazement, the glycerin worked perfectly as a deactivator and turned the slime soft and stretchy again. This means that the little bottle from the slime kit really was glycerin and makes it a completely safe ingredient to deactivate slime with. Here's a quick comparison before and after so you can really see the difference. Glycerin is a common component in many beauty products, so this also explains why many people actually use body lotion to soften slime. However, I'm still curious to see whether the theory using acid works. Touching any type of acid with your bare hands can be extremely dangerous, so please do not repeat this experiment using unknown ingredients. In my case, I'm using food-safe acids, however, I'm still taking safety precautions since I don't know how strong the concentration is. First off is powdered <laughs> citric acid, which many people recommended in the comments. The pH test shows an extremely high acidity. I poured a bit of this into the slime and mixed it around. So it seems that citric acid definitely works because the amount I added ended up turning the whole slime into liquid. In order to deactivate your slime more effectively, you only need to use a few drops of this. The next ingredient is liquid citric acid used for cleaning. I was really careful with this one because I had no idea how concentrated it was and the pH test also showed a very high acidity. Though please remember that pH is not a reliable indicator of how safe or dangerous an acid is. There are many substances with a less acidic pH that can cause serious injuries to skin. So this is a final reminder not to experiment with or touch any acids that you're not familiar with. This time I used the pipette to add single drops of citric acid to the slime. I only needed three drops before the slime started turning soft again. The next ingredient is vinegar. Any type of vinegar is okay, but if your slime is pale in color, then it's best to use a transparent one. This deactivator also worked perfectly, however you have to add it drop by drop. I found it very interesting that two drops didn't make a difference, but the third drop had an immediate effect on the slime. And the final test is lemon juice. This also has a very high pH, however I noticed that you need to use a bit more of this than pure citric acid. For example, I used three... Today's would you rather challenge is... 
Would you rather have your most embarrassing video shown or have your text messages If I choose the text one, do I get to read the text message? No! 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 I get to read the text messages. Oh my gosh! Isaac Ryan Brown, everybody, from Raven's Home. Oh, away! <laughs> Oh, I don't like this. Are you in my house? <laughs> okay, sure. What bathroom are you in? Stop! Here, here wait, wait. Five <laughs> seconds. I, I need some help. Olivia! Olivia Rodrigo from Bazaar everybody. <laughs> Pale face emoji. Hey, Ruby, gotta go. Ruby, you know this is a group chat, right? No, 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 no! Yo, new phone? Who this? I just meant to text my sister. Sugar, sister, what is wrong with me? Sister! Blank, blank, blank. Oh my gosh. I still need toilet paper. Okay, where? Done. That was awful. That was awful. It was quite funny for me, actually. You guys did a good job. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here again. Thank you so much. Today, what I wanted to do is something that a lot of you guys have been asking me about. I know I get a ton of like Instagram DMs and questions on here about 